An object zooming through our solar system is challenging notions of scientists and sparking heated debate. Deep in space, an object the size of a mountain is spinning clockwise. Suddenly, it stops, and then it begins to spin in the opposite direction. This isn't science fiction. This is the baffling reality astronomers are facing with 3 Eye Atlas, an interstellar traveler that has left experts like Michio Kaku completely stunned. The so supposed comet is catching the attention of some of the nation's most renowned scientists. The reversal of its spin is an event that defies explanation, a cosmic magic trick with no magician in sight. This single observation has sent shockwaves through the scientific community, forcing them to consider possibilities that were once dismissed as pure fantasy. What is this object, and how did it achieve the impossible? The first sign of trouble. As more data came in from observatories around the world, astronomers plotted its path. That's when the mood in control rooms began to shift from routine to electric. The numbers didn't lie. This object's trajectory was all wrong. It wasn't in a stable orbit around the sun like a planet or an asteroid. Its path was a hyperbola, a clear mathematical signature of an object that was not gravitationally bound to our star. It was moving at a blistering speed of over 100,000 miles per hour, a velocity so high that the sun's gravity could bend its path but never, ever capture it. To put that speed in perspective, our fastest spacecraft, the Parker Solar Probe, only reaches its top speed by falling towards the sun. 3i Atlas was moving that fast in the cold, empty space between solar systems. It was on a one-way trip, a tourist from another star. This was only the third interstellar object ever detected, a monumental discovery in its own right, and many people were crazy about it. Famed physicist Michio Kaku noted that each interstellar visitor is like a postcard from another star system, carrying secrets of its origin, the chemical makeup of a place we can only dream of seeing. But the postcard from 3i Atlas was written in an alien language. Its composition was the first major shock. Using spectroscopy, scientists analyzed the light reflecting off its surface to determine what it was made of. They expected to find the signature of water ice. You see, the leading theory is that interstellar visitors are rogue comets, essentially dirty snowballs of ice and rock ejected from their home systems during planetary formation. As they near a star like our sun, the ice should turn to gas, creating a visible atmosphere or coma and a spectacular tail. The thing nobody tells you is 3i Atlas had no tail. It had no coma. It was dark, dense, and almost completely inert. Spectrometers found it was shockingly rich in heavy metals, like nickel and even hints of platinum, but had almost no ice. It was more like a solid asteroid, but asteroids are rocky bodies that form in the inner parts of a solar system. They don't have the velocity to be flung into the interstellar void. This object was a paradox. It had the trajectory of a comet, but the composition of an asteroid. What many overlooked in the initial excitement was its shape. High-resolution radar imaging from the Arecibo Observatory just before it was decommissioned painted an even stranger picture. It wasn't a potato-like lump as most asteroids are. It was a long, highly elongated, cigar-shaped object eerily similar to our first interstellar visitor from 2017, Oumuamua. It was estimated to be roughly half a mile long and only a few hundred feet wide, a bizarre needle in the cosmic haystack. And it was tumbling end over end with a perfect clockwork precision, completing a full rotation every seven hours. This rhythmic stability was a huge source of fascination for physicists. Natural objects battered by eons of collisions and gravitational nudges tend to wobble erratically. This object's spin was as steady as a top, it behaved less like a random piece of cosmic debris and more like a stabilized machine. For months, it drifted silently, a ghost in our cosmic backyard leaving astronomers with more questions than answers. It was a wow factor in itself, a perfect mystery that defied every category we had. But the real show, the event that would have scientists losing their minds, was yet to come. But the object's strange rotation was about to become truly impossible. The spin that changed everything. Every object in the universe, from a spinning top on your table to the Milky Way galaxy itself, is governed by a fundamental law of physics, the conservation of angular momentum. 
It's one of the bedrock principles of the cosmos, a core rule that has never been observed to be broken. The law states that the amount of spin in a closed system stays the same unless an external force acts on it. To put it mildly, you can't just stop spinning and start rotating the other way without something pushing you. A figure skater pulls in their arms to spin faster, but they can't reverse their direction without pushing off the ice with their skates. A satellite in orbit can fire thrusters to change its orientation. A planet's spin can be altered over millions of years by the gravitational pull of its moon. There is always an external force. 3 i Atlas was in the near-perfect vacuum of space. There was nothing to push off of. The solar wind, a stream of charged particles from the sun, is far too weak to have such an effect. There were no nearby planets to provide a gravitational nudge. It was a closed system. Yet on a Tuesday morning that astronomers will never forget, it defied this sacred law. The global network of radio telescopes monitoring the object, linked together as one planet-sized eye, recorded something that made operators tear off their headsets and call their supervisors. Over a period of just 90 minutes, 3i Atlas slowed its precise seven-hour rotation to a complete stop. For a few breathtaking, reality-bending moments, it hung motionless in space relative to its axis. Then it began to spin again, but in the exact opposite direction, resuming its perfect seven-hour rotation as if nothing had happened. The energy required to perform such a maneuver is, to put it mildly, astronomical. Scientists did the math and their faces went pale. To stop and reverse the rotation of an object weighing billions of tons would require a force equivalent to detonating 100 million of the largest nuclear bombs ever created. And it all happened without any visible sign of propulsion. No gas jets, no bright exhaust plume, no ejected debris field. It just did it. Michio Kaku, in a leaked internal memo that spread like wildfire through the astrophysical community, reportedly wrote, We are either witnessing a new law of physics, an interaction we cannot comprehend, or this is not a natural object. There is no third option. Panic, excitement, and sheer disbelief erupted simultaneously. The data was scrubbed, recalibrated, and triple-checked by independent teams at NASA, the European Space Agency, and other international partners. Every single one came back with the same impossible conclusion. It was real. An object half a mile long had reversed its spin with no discernible cause. What many overlooked in the initial chaos was the sheer precision of the maneuver. It wasn't a chaotic, violent event. It was a smooth, controlled, deliberate reversal. This was the moment 3i Atlas transformed from being a scientific curiosity into a profound and, for some, a terrifying mystery that threatened to unravel our entire understanding of the cosmos. The question was no longer what it was, but who or what could have built it. Is somebody driving? Once a natural explanation becomes so improbable that it borders on fantasy, you are forced to start considering the unnatural. The theory that 3i Atlas is an alien probe, once a fringe idea whispered in university hallways, suddenly became the leading hypothesis in secure video conferences around the world. You see, the spin reversal was the smoking gun, but it wasn't the only piece of evidence. When scientists, now armed with this new, terrifying context, looked back at all the data they had collected, other details started to click into place, forming a disturbing pattern. The metallic composition, for instance, was no longer just a weird anomaly. It looked suspiciously like a manufactured alloy. Its surface reflected radar signals with a strange coherence, suggesting it wasn't a porous rock but a smooth, solid surface, something designed for strength and durability to survive an eons-long journey through the harsh environment of interstellar space. The cigar shape was also reevaluated. Engineers quickly pointed out that this is considered the most efficient and robust shape for a starship, minimizing the frontal cross-section to reduce the risk of catastrophic damage from impacts with dust and gas at relativistic speeds. Then there were the faint intermittent radio waves. Initially dismissed as background cosmic noise or instrumental interference, analysts ran them through advanced filtering algorithms. What they found sent a chill down their spines. Buried in the static were repeating structured patterns. They weren't complex enough to be a clear message, but they had all the hallmarks of technology, perhaps the internal communications of a complex machine or the telemetry pings of a probe reporting back to its master. 
The thing nobody tells you is that it also made a tiny course correction after the impossible spin reversal. It was a minor adjustment, a gentle nudge that shifted its trajectory by just a few dozen miles, but it was enough to prove it wasn't a passive, tumbling object. It was actively navigating. Michio Kaku has long spoken about the possibility of advanced civilizations sending out Bracewell probes, highly sophisticated, autonomous robotic explorers designed to seek out and study emerging life forms. Such a probe would be designed to be discreet, to observe and collect data for millennia without causing alarm. It might remain dormant for hundreds of thousands of years, a silent sentinel until it detected the specific telltale signs of an emerging technological civilization, like the structured radio broadcasts we began leaking into space about a century ago. The spin reversal could have been a way to recalibrate its instruments after waking from a long slumber, or perhaps to orient a specific high-gain sensor array directly towards Earth. The probe, after a long sleep, might finally be awake and taking a closer look at the noisy creatures who had just announced their presence to the galaxy. Many people in the know are now privately convinced that we are being watched by a silent ancient machine. This speculation was fueled when government agencies suddenly went quiet. Data streams from major observatories that were once public were suddenly encrypted and classified. Freedom of Information Act requests were denied, citing national security. Scientists who were once outspoken about Atlas were suddenly unavailable for comment. The cover-up had begun. And if it's a machine, its next move could change human history forever, natural or not. So, where does that leave us, standing on our small blue planet, staring into the dark? 3i Atlas continues its silent journey through our solar system, and you can be sure that every powerful telescope on Earth and many secret ones in orbit are now pointed at it. The scientific community is sharply and secretly divided. On one side, you have a dwindling camp of scientists desperately searching for a natural explanation, no matter how exotic or convoluted. They propose bizarre theories involving complex, undiscovered magnetic field interactions or the sudden symmetrical outgassing of unseen volatile materials from deep within the object's core. To put it mildly, these theories are a monumental stretch requiring us to believe in a perfect storm of cosmic coincidences that have never been observed before. On the other side are the growing number of scientists, including renowned figures like Michio Kaku, who believe we must face the data for what it is. The evidence for artificiality, the deliberate shape, the metallic alloy, the active navigation, and the physically impossible spin reversal is simply too compelling to ignore. They argue that clinging to a natural explanation is no longer a sign of scientific skepticism. It's an act of collective denial. What many overlooked is that both possibilities are equally world-changing. If 3i Atlas is a natural object, then our understanding of physics, the very rules we thought governed the universe, is fundamentally wrong. There are forces and interactions at play in the cosmos we don't even know exist. But if it's artificial, the implications are exponentially greater. It means we are not alone. It means another intelligence, likely far older and more advanced than our own, is in our cosmic neighborhood. Michio Kaku often refers to the Kardashev scale, a method of measuring a civilization's technological advancement based on the amount of energy it can use. A Type 1 Civilization can harness all the energy of its planet. A Type 2 can harness the energy of its star. A Type 3 can command the energy of its entire galaxy. We aren't even a Type 1 yet. The civilization that built 3i Atlas, a probe capable of interstellar travel and manipulating physics in ways we can't fathom, would likely be a Type 2 or even Type 3 civilization. We would be like ants trying to understand the Internet. The object will reach its closest point to the Sun next year before solar gravity slingshots it back out into the interstellar darkness, perhaps never to be seen again. Whatever it is, our chance to study it up close is running out. The debate is no longer just scientific, it's becoming a frantic, behind-the-scenes issue of global security and philosophical survival. We are a species that has just realized the rustling in the cosmic jungle is not just the wind. There is something else out there with us. Is 3i Atlas a freak of nature or a technological marvel from another world? We may soon find out the unsettling truth. 
Like this video and subscribe for more updates on this incredible story.